Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video, I'll be showing you guys all the packaging supplies I use to package and fulfill my orders for my Etsy shop. And I'll be doing a demo of packaging an order at the end. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And yeah, let's get started right away. So first in terms of mailers and envelopes, I use two different kinds. The first kind is a flat mailer that I got from Uline. I use these mainly for prints and just other things that I need to make sure that they stay super, super flat. And usually my envelopes don't fit my prints because they're a little bit too big. So it's perfect for that. And yeah, these are awesome and they come in a huge pack. The next thing I use are these craft envelopes from Ohuhu that I got on Amazon. Comes in a pack of 150 and these are pretty much my go-to for any sticker sheets or sticker packs and most of my orders go through these because most of my orders are stickers. I stabilize the envelope with a piece of chipboard and the chipboard is also from Uline as well. And I also use a chipboard for many other things like I use it to stabilize the backs of my prints that I put in glassine bags to keep them extra sturdy and straight. The chipboard also comes in a huge pack just like the flat mailers and it is super awesome. I use it for a lot of different things so anytime I need to stabilize or add a little bit of more structure to any of my orders or packages, that's what I use. Okay, so if you're on my TikTok, you're probably familiar with this. This is the vellum paper that I use to package all my orders. All the stickers and prints and anything that the customer orders will be put in a little bundle inside the vellum paper. And I basically just bought a whole stack of 8.5 by 11 vellum paper on Amazon. And then all I do is design my own design and then I print it out normally on normal print settings. And for the smaller size, I just cut the sheet right in half. And then I have a big size for prints and then a smaller size for sticker packs and other smaller things. Okay, so here is my water activated tape that I got from Sticker Meal. It's my own custom design that I made of my little strawberries for Ivy Tart. And the way I prepare it is I kind of measure it to match up to the length of the envelope. And then I slice it down with my paper slicer and then I cut them in half as well just so that they're not as thick. And how I use it is I use this little spray bottle that is full of water and I spray the tape to activate the adhesive on the back and then I stick it right on the envelope and it's perfect. Okay, so here are a bunch of my different packaging stickers that I've made. I designed these on Porkery and then I just print and cut them with my Cameo. And basically I use those to seal these glassine bags that I used to hold my sticker packs in. These glassine bags are great, they're recyclable. And yeah, I think they look really nice with the stickers on them. I also make my own Do Not Bend stickers and Happy Mail stickers as well to put on the outside of the envelopes. And I'm able to customize the outside of the packaging a little bit just so it's more recognizable. I also designed these thank you stickers that I used to seal all the little bundles inside the vellum paper. And I also used this twine that I got from Michaels to bundle up everything as well. I also used this washi tape that I got from Amazon and the dispensers are also from Amazon as well. This is a custom stamp that I got with No Issue as part of our collaboration and thank you so much No Issue for sending this stamp to me. I designed this stamp so that I could put it on the outside of my envelopes to brand my envelopes a little bit more and I think it turned out really nice. I love the design, it's super cute. I also have this other Happy Mail stamp from No Issue that I actually won from their giveaway on TikTok which was like purely luck and I love it too. This is like their self inking one so it's pretty cool and I use it in the corner of all my envelopes now instead of making the stickers. So yeah, I really really like both of these. I Items. I think the stamps are really really nice and I've enjoyed using mine a lot. I also include a thank you card with all my orders and I got a few of them made by No Issue as well as part of our collab and they're great. I really really like them. I also have some from Vistaprint too. Along with stamping the outside of the envelopes, I put the Please Do Not Bend stickers on the envelopes like I showed you earlier. And here's where I put a Happy Mail sticker just to show you what it looks like. I think both the stamp and stickers are super cute. And then when I'm ready to send everything off, I take a stamp off of the stamp roll that I got from Canada Post. By the way, the container is also from Canada Post. And yeah, that's pretty much how I prepare my envelopes. And in terms of shipping labels, I print everything with my Dymo Label Writer 450. I got this on Amazon for like a hundred bucks when it was on sale. I know the labels are smaller than typical shipping labels, but I've never had a problem with things not scanning and it's worked perfectly fine for me. So I can recommend it because it's cheaper and it does its job. So I have no complaints about it. It's a great little addition to my shop. 
I'm about to package some orders and I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of set up my desk in preparation for that. I keep this space super clear because that's where, of course, I need to package my orders. However, on the side here is where I keep a lot of stuff and I usually take stuff off of my cart and pull them from different parts of my room and have them right here. So typically I keep all my sticker packs in these drawers, but usually when I package orders, I do it in bulk. So I usually just pull these out and then I keep them off to the side. And I just stack them up like this because I don't have space to lay them all out, but yeah, so they're just easier to grab. I usually also pull out this bin that has my prints and sticker packs just so it's easy access to. All the way down here on the bottom shelf of my utility cart, I keep a bunch of my packaging supplies. So I usually will pull these out too. This one has my thank you cards and underneath is my packaging tape. So I will usually put that on my desk too. I just keep it off to the side here. I always grab this bin that has my twine and thank you stickers and some markers and stuff that I use for packaging. Put that right here next to everything else. And I'll usually just grab my twine and keep that right next to me instead. I always keep a bin that is just empty that I use to throw away like scraps of twine or like little bits and pieces of paper, whatever trash that I produce or recycling that I produce while I package orders just so it's not like all over my desk. I need a pair of scissors. Next to my desk, I have this little like ottoman thing. So basically I have two bins usually sitting right here. One holds my chit chats and one holds my Canada Post mail. So I kind of separate it while I'm packaging just so it's easier for me later when I sort everything out. So on the ottoman, I also keep a tray of my vellum paper and packaging stickers and stuff like that. And I just keep it on the ottoman too for easy access. And last but not least, I always keep my bin of confetti that's kind of running low right now, but I should keep that right here. So I always remember to put the confetti in. So with all of that here, I'm pretty much ready to start packaging now. And on my computer, I just keep my Etsy shop manager open so I can see what everyone's ordering. And typically I would write my thank you cards ahead of time just so that it's easier for me when I start packaging because I usually package in bulk. So I usually just take some time the previous day to just write out the thank you cards ahead of time. And it's been saving me a lot of time. So I definitely recommend doing that if you are also looking to package in bulk as well. I'm getting ready to package an order now and I'm just gonna walk you through how I do it just so you have a pretty good understanding of how I do things. So first and foremost, I will lay out a piece of vellum paper that will be appropriate for the order. So the order that I'm packaging right now is an order of one of my Lunar New Year treats packs and then one of my strawberry treats packs. So for the smaller orders of just sticker packs and not prints or large sticker sheets, I just use this smaller vellum paper, which is just like one large eight and a half by 11 sheet that I've cut in half and then I will go into my bins and grab what I need so she ordered a Lunar New Year's treats pack so I have that ready here grab a strawberry treats pack because she ordered that too so then what I do is I will take a vellum paper I will fold up an edge at the bottom so it holds everything in place oh I should mention too that I always fold the paper with the vellum paper like upside down so that when you fold the vellum paper to the front, then it shows my logo the right way. Of course, if I did it this way, then it would be backwards. All I do is fold up one of the edges at the bottom, just like a, maybe like a centimeter or two, just so it has like a place for all the stickers to sit inside, like that. And then I take the stickers, kind of line them up and stuff to make sure they're nice and together. And I push them all the way down against the edge that I just made. And then at the top, I just make sure it's nice and tight and I crease the top like this. Then I kind of center them as much as I can. And then I fold in the sides, keeping it tight against the side of the sticker packs. And then I do the same to the other side. Then we have this and then I always take my confetti, just grab a little bit of it and then I just sprinkle it inside the package. Then I just continue folding everything. What I do here is that there's two little flaps that I've created from folding in the sides and bottom and top as I showed you. So I kind of tuck them into each other if that makes any sense. So basically it kind of creates a nice little clean finish on the edge and I do that to the other side too. So just tuck it into each other and then button everything out. It should sit nice and flat like this. I will take a sheet of my thank you stickers and then I just peel one off like this. And then I will just stick it in the center of the packaging where the seam is. 
so that it's like nice and bundled up. I created this little like cardboard guide for myself for how long the twine should be. I basically just measured out the length of the twine for a print and then a sticker pack bundle separately. And then I just figured out like, okay, so for the large one, I need to wrap it three times. And then the smaller one, I wrap it twice. So this one's smaller. So I will take my twine and then I have this little notch that I created at the top with just like a little blade. And I just wrap it around twice like this. Of course, I just take my pair of scissors and snip it. To wrap the twine, I lay the twine down like this. I will take the package and put the right side on top of the twine like this. Take the two ends, make sure they're, you know, even and pull it up. Tie a simple knot and bring it down. Then you'll have a little cross at the back and then I hold onto the cross that I just made and I will flip it right side up. Take one end of the twine and feed it underneath the first loop and then I take the other side of the twine and feed it underneath again but this time like to the other side so that they are side by side and then I will tie a simple knot and make sure it's tight and then usually this is where I line up all the sides and stuff to make sure they're in the center of the package and then I tie a bow. So how I tie the bow is with my left hand, I will take the twine on the left and then I grab it with my thumb and my index finger and then I wrap it on top of my index finger, like on top of my nail. And with my right hand, I will bring the twine behind my finger on the other side. And then basically once it's behind, I bring it behind and forward on top of the loop that I first made. And then I feed it through the hole and grab it and pull. It's really hard to explain how to tie a bow because I feel like it's kind of hard to show it. They lay pretty flat because of the way I tie it. I don't really like doing like the bunny ears thing because I feel like it makes it too thick. The twine's not perfectly even, I just trim up a little bit of it. And yeah, there's a little bundle. I usually will take a couple pieces of washi tape and then I will tape in the sides like this. I'll tape the twine down to the actual packaging. I'll show you guys why I do that in a second. That's how the little bundle looks by the end of it. Okay, so I have my thank you card here and all my thank you cards, I always include a Ivy Tarte strawberry freebie with every single order. And then I will grab my envelope. So all of my envelopes are already prepared with the stamps, the do not bend sticker, and then inside I already slide in a piece of chipboard ahead of time. I will take the sticker pack and then I will put my thank you card on top of it so that it flattens it more. So both sides have a piece of like cardboard and reinforcement. And then I just slide it into the envelope like this. By the way, the reason why I put the tape on these sides is because I know that my sticker pack is going in like this. This might seem kind of extra, but basically the reason why is because sometimes when the twine is on the side, as it's coming out of the package, it gets like stuck on the edge of the envelope and then it just kind of like gets caught and ruins the opening experience a little bit. So I just like having that there because then it comes out really nicely. So yeah, sandwich everything. And then I just put it into the envelope like this. And then I have the little paper adhesive to pull off. I just close up the package like this. Next thing I do is I have this Ohuhu alcohol based marker that I have in like a huge set. I will use the brush side to write down the name of the person who ordered from me. So this is for Danny. So I always write their name and I usually put heart and some little sparkles. The last step of packaging is I will take a strip of my Ivy Tarte packaging tape. I use a little spray bottle that used to hold, I think like glasses cleaner or something. And I use this to activate the tape because it's water activated. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's way too close to my keyboard and computer. So one second. Okay, so now it's all saturated with water. You just need a couple spritz just to get it damp. I will just stick it along the seam of where the envelope closes. And I know it already has an adhesive, but I think it's nice for an extra like reassurance. And also I think it looks nice because it matches my branding and everything. That's how I package orders. And then I will just put it in either the chit chat spin, if it's a US or international order, or if it's a Canadian order, I'll put it in the Canada Post bin. I usually will label with address labels and stamp them in bulk as well after I'm done packaging everything. And that is all the things I use to package my orders and how I package all my orders. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and ask. I'm also super active on TikTok and pretty active on Instagram too. So if you have any questions, you can always shoot me a message over there and I'll try my best to answer your questions for you. All the links to the products will be down below in the description. I tried my best to find all of them for you guys. So I hope that it helps you guys in any way. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And if you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like me to make, then please let me know 
out to. I hope to make more videos for you guys soon, so please stay tuned for that. And yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hold up a week up after that, believe we started dating. My heart was racing, but never felt my time was wasting. My mind was chasing, ain't no debating. I'm feeling you and trying to get together.